video for chapter 10.1 shaft support what I've done I've already created a sketch here and if you look at it in the book it shows an overall of 16 and we have a five here four and a half basically what I've done is created a profile and you can kind of visualize my sketch along with the book um, we're going to have a what is that a four inch diameter hole here so what I've done I've created this profile and I've drawn a center line just a temporary line you could go here in the origin and use one of the axes here the X but what what I've done just drew a line made a profile and made it half of what the dimensions show in the book and once you have this just finish sketch I'm gonna hit my home view and I'm gonna use revolve make sure it's on full come over and choose your profile choose axis and choose this line that you drew and right away you're gonna have this part revolved and created and that is going to leave us with only the four holes that remain. So I'm going to create a, another sketch here. And if you look, the bolt circle for the holes is 12. So I'm just going to get a temporary circle. Use this center line. Type in 12, enter. And I have four two inch holes so I'm going to get a circle first I'll get a line and draw it straight up now come over to circle and where those two intersect type in two enter right click left click OK come over left click the circle hit delete all I want is this circle left so I'm gonna left click delete that line I'm gonna turn it where I can see what's going on finish sketch extrude cut hit OK now I'm gonna go to circular pattern I'm gonna choose the feature I'm gonna choose this arrow for the rotation axis click the top of it change the 6 to 4 hit OK that part is pretty much done and what you want to do is create a, a drawing DWG and just like you learned in chapter 10 we want a section view so if you didn't read you got to go back to chapter 10 and get an understanding of how we create section views 